Lesson 63, The Day of Reckoning. In today's lesson, we shall learn about the Day of Reckoning. We will meet Zacchaeus, who has a reckoning with Jesus and his riches. One day in the future, we shall all give an account of how we have lived our lives. Some will be rewarded for faithfully serving in God's kingdom, and others will be destroyed because they failed to submit to Jesus as their king. We also see the day approaching when Jesus will have a reckoning with the religious rulers of Israel. Today we meet Zacchaeus, an interesting character in the Bible. Zacchaeus was a tax collector, which was not an honest job, and that meant he was despised by most people who had to pay their taxes to him. We are told he was a rich man, but when Jesus was coming by, he did not let his pride and dignity keep him from wanting to get a look at Jesus. Because he was short, he had to climb up in a sycamore tree to get a view of Jesus. This is not something we would expect from a rich man, but Zacchaeus was more concerned about learning about Jesus than about what others thought about him. When Jesus came near the sycamore where Zacchaeus was, he said to Zacchaeus that he would come to his house. Zacchaeus was very happy to have Jesus visit his home, and it is also clear that through Jesus' words and influence that Zacchaeus became a true believer and follower of Jesus as God's Messiah. We can see the evidence of his conversion as he proclaims he will give half of his goods to the poor, and if he had cheated anyone, he would replace it with four times as much as he had taken. Jesus perceived the genuineness of Zacchaeus' repentance and faith, and said that salvation had come to his house. Jesus added the words that he had come to seek and to save that which was lost. I wonder if you are that lost one whom Jesus is seeking today. Are you as anxious to meet Jesus as Zacchaeus was? Jesus tells us another parable about a nobleman who traveled waiting to receive his kingdom. Before he left on his journey, he supplied some money to some men and asked them to do business till he returned. Some of the men used the money to earn more and were rewarded with great responsibility in the nobleman's kingdom. One man returned the money that had been given to him, stating he knew that the nobleman was strict. He did not make anything from the money given to him, and he was severely judged. Jesus tells us this parable to teach us that one day we shall have a reckoning with the Lord and shall give an account of our stewardship. He has entrusted to us our lives and so many waste this life on selfish and sinful pursuits. He also entrusts to God's children the gospel message to share with the world. If a child of God can take the message of salvation to the world and see others come into God's kingdom, then he will be rewarded abundantly when the Lord returns as king. Those whose faith has produced nothing or those whose lives were only lived selfishly will be destroyed before the king because they fail to honor him and serve his interests. As Jesus came from Bethany over the Mount of Olives, he was riding upon a borrowed donkey, and the crowds laid down clothes and palm branches and praised Jesus as the son of David. Their shouts of praise and honor were heard by the Pharisees who told Jesus to rebuke the people. They thought Jesus should not be honored with the titles of the Messiah, for they did not believe he was the Messiah. But Jesus knew who he was, and that even if the people would not shout out praise, even the rocks would sing with praise. As Jesus approaches Jerusalem, he weeps over the city that stoned the prophets and would kill their own Messiah. He pronounces a judgment against the city, saying that no stone will remain on another when the city was destroyed. This prophecy was later fulfilled in AD 70 when the Roman armies destroyed Jerusalem and the temple. In Jerusalem, 
Jesus once again visits the temple and becomes angry at the sight of people buying and selling and all the money changers. In his anger he chases them from the temple area and says to them, My house is to be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. Daily Jesus was teaching in the temple area and the chief priests, scribes and rulers wanted to find a way to put Jesus to death but they could not because the crowds were glad to hear him. We can see that the day of reckoning was coming to Jesus with these religious rulers. They were not going to tolerate his preaching against their covetousness and religious hypocrisy. Jesus certainly knew that the time of judgment was fast approaching, but was determined to face his judgment in order to bring salvation to you and I. We also are fast approaching our own day of reckoning. Soon we shall leave this world and face God's judgment. Are you ready for your day of reckoning? Have you prepared yourself to meet your king and to give an account of your stewardship? Will you be like Zacchaeus, willing to give up greed and selfishness to become a true follower of Jesus? Or will you be like the religious rulers, who only wanted to appear religious, but still live for sin and selfishness? On the day of reckoning, all secrets will be revealed, and your true heart will be exposed. I hope that day will be a day of rejoicing for you, and not a sad day when you meet the wrath of God. Trust in Jesus as your Savior, and I know that he will cleanse you and make you new and ready for his soon return. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Luke chapter 19 verse 10.